Ooh, we got some important news happening surrounding these Baltimore Ravens. First and foremost, well, literally first because it was our first round draft pick at wide receiver 22nd overall. Zay Flowers is officially, officially a Raven. I mean, he was already kind of officially a Raven. Got his number and all that. Got his jersey and all that. Got the playbook and all that. But now he is officially pen to paper a Baltimore Raven because he hadn't been signed yet. And I believe he was the last draft pick that remained unsigned. Because it's like... With the, the, the way that they do the draft now and, and the, uh, the, the salary and whatnot for draft picks, it's a lot easier than it was before, but still there can be little technicalities and whatnot and stuff that needs to get worked out. You got to go through all the nooks and crannies and every crevice of these contracts. But Zay Flowers is officially a Raven now. They got that pen to paper and he signed. And let's just look at the report where I, I first saw from Jordan Schultz. He said, uh, Ravens first round draft pick Zay Flowers is signing a fully guaranteed, fully guaranteed four year, $14 million max contract. The deal was negotiated by agents Zach Hiller, Eric Down, and Matt Leist. Flowers, the 22nd pick in the draft, earned all American honors for BC football last season. And I saw from Adam Schefter that he gets a $7.2 million signing bonus to be paid in 2023. Now, let me tell you why this was very important, not just to get him signed, but because of the timing. The Ravens, their last day of minicamp is tomorrow. So from June 15th all the way till uh, the end of July, um, it's, 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 it's going to be rough. It's going to be rough for a lot of football fans because it ain't really going to be much of nothing. It, it's really not. And um, this is a time where uh, you, sometimes you can get a little bit worried uh, during this point of the season because um, a lot of the players, they have a lot of free time. Um, a lot of times every year, and it, I mean, it sucks to say, but this is where you hear a lot of bad stories. Um, the not so fun stuff. Hopefully we don't hear any of that from any team, regardless if it's the Ravens or not. But, um, this is, this is that time. Hopefully like the, the, the worst that we hear about something is, oh, somebody, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't want to hear nothing really. I don't want to hear nothing. I want to hear, I don't want to hear no bad stories about nobody, no player at all. Um, so hopefully that's how it goes this off season. But the, the players are about to get a very, very long break, a well-deserved break, because they put in a lot of work when you really think about it. Um, but anyway, back to Zay Flowers. It's important that this happen now before training camp because, say, for instance, he wasn't signed and training camp rolled around. Um, you, you shouldn't participate. If you ain't got a deal and it's training camp time, because that's when stuff starts to get physical, you should not participate. You, you, you should just stay out. Uh, and I forgot exactly what the rules are, if they can even participate in training camp, if they don't have a deal. I don't think so, but I'm not 100% sure on what the rules are. I, I forgot what it is. Um, but it's it's nice that this is all taken care of. Because say, for instance, he did participate in training camp and he didn't have a deal. And worst case scenario, he got hurt. Oh, that wouldn't be good. I know there's still some sort of stipulation where he will still get paid from the team, but... It just wouldn't be a good look. So now he got his contract, so now he can go there worry-free, go do his thing. And I hope he balls out for them Baltimore Ravens. Uh, and I also hope that DeAndre Hopkins is next. But anyway, speaking of next, uh, let's talk about this former Baltimore Raven, Marcus Peters. And it's looking like he is going to be signing pretty soon. Now, this is an article from The Athletic uh, that brought up Marcus Peters. Um, and let's just read it. It says... Uh, help on the way for the cornerback position for the Raiders, not the Ravens. Uh, Tyler Hall and Bennett appeared to make a case for themselves at minicamp, but there is no contact and drills are at half speed, so don't go buying a jersey just yet. Hall may push Hobbs outside cornerback if he takes over the slot role, and Hobbs will be battling newcomers Duke Shelley, David Long Jr., and Bennett, as well as old friends Brandon uh, Facion, Amik Robinson, and Sam Webb for a starting job. So I know I, I'm not sure if y'all are familiar with any of those players. I know some of y'all probably are, but... This is what you came for. Those guys may be competing for one starting job as the Raiders seem likely to sign veteran cornerback Marcus Peters before training camp. Peters came in for a visit last month, and according to league and team sources, the two sides have stayed in touch as Peters test the market. The Raiders have other veteran cornerbacks on their list, but Peters could very likely sign with the team that he grew up rooting for as a kid in Oakland. 
Peters, who's 30, started all 13 games he appeared in for the Ravens last season and had 47 tackles, 2-4 loss, a sack, and an interception. He led the league in yards from interception returns in three of his seven active seasons, 2015, 2017, and 2019. We remember that one, baby. Uh, is a three-time Pro Bowl selection and a two-time first-team All-Pro. So shout out to MP Juice Man, and, and that was an article from Vic Tefer uh, and to Sean Reed uh, of the Athletic. So y'all can check that out if you like. So no, there, there's been a lot of conversation. There's continued conversation amongst Ravens fans about the cornerback position. What they're going to do at the cornerback position, if they're going to add more, if they're going to leave it as is, what are they going to do there? And Marcus Peters' name has continued to come up in that conversation. But if things go according to what seems like that plan is, then the Marcus Peters conversation will officially be over very, very, very soon. So we just got to wait it out and see. We got to wait it out and see. Um, some other news that we we didn't we didn't even get a chance to talk about. Oh yeah, because that's a, that's when we was up in Baltimore. We meant to talk about it, but we just things got a little busy and a little crazy, as y'all know. Uh, and shout out to all of y'all, man. Appreciate y'all very very much. Um, the Ravens lost a wide receiver uh, last week. Well, lost a wide receiver. It was a former Ravens wide receiver, but also a former Chiefs wide receiver. Uh, that being Demarcus Robinson, because he, like Marcus Peters, was another name that a lot of Ravens fans were like, oh, we should bring him back. We, we should, he should return. He need to come back to the Ravens. Um, and for him, I actually expected him to be back with the Ravens. I expected him to be sort of like an insurance policy and be back with them at least just for like training camp and stuff. And if he made it on the roster, if he didn't, but I, I expected them to have him around just for like the off season, at least uh, just to play it safe, just depending on what moves that they made. And this was before they start going crazy with all the wide receivers and stuff. But I expected them to have him around because he was solid last year. He was solid last year. And there was even one point of the season last year where he was our best receiver. I know injuries happen and stuff like that, but there was one point in the season when he was our best receiver. But he signed with the L.A. Rams. So Demarcus Robinson is officially, and this is from last week, he is officially off the market. And he will not be returning to the Baltimore Ravens. So he's out of there. Um, and then one last piece of information, which was very, very unfortunate. Uh, yesterday. Yesterday, it came out that the Jets, the Jets were signing uh, Adrian Amos. Um, and a lot of people thought that the Ravens could be signing Adrian Amos because the Ravens were interested in Adrian Amos. Um, but the Jets ended up signing him yesterday. And we were like, oh, OK, all right, cool. They signed him. But then Jeff Zrebic reported that he had actually been in Baltimore like the day before, visiting with the Ravens the day before. And the Ravens offered him a contract. But he said that the Jets contract was more. It was for more money. So I was like, okay, cool. Well, I ain't had no problem with that. But um, we didn't understand the reason why. Uh, a, a former Ravens safety. A lot, of, a lot of former Ravens players making a lot of moves, man. But a former Ravens safety, Chuck Clark, he has signed over. No, he got traded to the Jets. He got traded to the Jets from the Ravens. Um, but we were thinking, like, why, why are they signing Adrian Amos? But it was like, oh, well, that could be a solid tandem back there. Adrian Amos, Chuck Clark, and whatnot. But. It was to really replace Chuck Clark because, unfortunately, they're saying it looks like he may have torn his ACL yesterday. So that really suck. That that would really suck. Um, Chuck Clark, uh, I was looking forward to seeing how he would do in what was already a good defense, uh, but to see if he could help make them even better. Uh, so that that's a uh, that sucks. Because Chuck Clark was like, this dude never hurt, never hurt, never hurt ever. Like this dude was super super healthy all the time. But to go to be traded and then in your you literally the season ain't even start yet and now you're probably gonna be out for the year and if not out for the year you're gonna be out for a significant amount of time it's expected that he's out for a significant significant amount of time it, it hasn't been nothing's official yet uh, so we just gotta wait it out and see but they ain't really sounding good for Chuck Clark but we'll see how it goes but anyway team keep it clean. This is just all this important news around the Baltimore Ravens, some current Ravens and also some former Ravens. And uh, it officially for one former Raven, uh, he ain't coming back. Uh, but there's that one last one with Marcus Peters where he probably isn't coming back. But once that's official, that'll close the door on that. Anyway, I love y'all team. Keep it clean. I appreciate y'all so much. Thank you for supporting the channel the way that y'all do. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Turn your notifications on so you don't miss not one single video. 
Slow season, hey, it's, it's getting ready to be real slow, but we still going to have a lot of fun on here. I hope y'all stay around and stick around for the ride. We are 